Hi, today I'm going to share with you how you can withdraw cryptocurrency on the SwiftX account back into Australian dollars. So how you can sell your cryptocurrency on the SwiftX exchange to Australian dollars or New Zealand dollars and then withdraw to your bank. I'm going to share with you how you can do this step by step, even if you're a complete beginner. So let's get straight into the video and not wait on. All right, so the first step is you need to be on SwiftX and make sure you're logged into your account, of course. Now, the next step is you'll see that I have some cryptocurrency here, which I have ApeCoin. I'm going to share with you how you can sell your cryptocurrency and then withdraw it to your bank account. So the first step is we're going to go down to asset list here. Now this is just a way you can look at all the assets that you have. Now you can search it on the top right here if you wish, ApeCoin. That's one way that I can search my, which cryptocurrencies I have. I can also look at my wallets here. So just click on wallets and it shows you my wallet overall and what I have. So you can see that I have ApeCoin and Australian dollars. So I can click on ApeCoin here and now my option here is I can sell it right here so you click on sell and it will bring up this tab right here as you can see now you can bring up this tab yourself so anytime you're on here you'll see this little order tab here you can click on that let's say that we're not even gonna worry about um, using my wallet or looking at my wallet I can just go on this order tab click on the order tab again and now I'm gonna trade asset from so ApeCoin so I'm gonna click on my ApeCoin this is the only cryptocurrency you have at the moment and then click on add asset and I'm gonna trade it to Australian dollars you can also trade it to New Zealand dollars but we'll be drawing Australian dollars because I'm from Australia then I'm going to click that and now it's going to trade ApeCoin to Australian dollars and I can type in how much I want and it tells me the value per ApeCoin right here at the bottom if you can see this now it tells me how much I have available I'm going to just give it I'm going to sell it all you can also click on this tab right here where it says AUD which will trade transfer it to AUD value so you can type in the amount of AUD value that you want to withdraw which is $14 now I'm going to click it back to ApeCoin because I'm just going to withdraw it all but that's option for you so you can just type in the amount of money worth that you want to withdraw of the ape coin or sell of the ape coin once you're ready you click on preview and it'll tell you that you're trading ape coin for Australian dollars it'll tell you the fees here as well how much the fee is and the price that you're getting per ape coin you can click on place order and the trade has been successfully placed now you can click on start new trade or you can close it it's totally up to you so I'm going to close this window at the top right here this little arrows and now I have only got got Australian dollars in my account now. now how you can withdraw your Australian dollars is really simple you can click on it right here if you wish and you can click on your Australian dollars again and then you can click on withdraw funds here uh, don't show me again click here continue withdraw funds and it'll bring up this window here now that's one way you can do it I'm going to share with you another way you can go to the main menu again you can do it clicking this here withdraw or you can also click on the side here where it says withdraw and then when you're on the side here you want to make sure you're on withdraw or send so you want to click on the asset that you want to withdraw, which is Australian dollars here. So click on Australian dollars. I'm clicked on Australian dollars. And then make sure you have right here, you can manage your account, see if you want. You can go back. You can add your own bank account here. If you go to this drop down tab and click it, you need to add a new account. If you're doing this the first time, you need to click on add a new account. You will need to put in your account details, like your account name, account holder name. So this will be the bank account name, account name. And then this will be your name, the person that who runs or who owns owns the bank account and then the BSB number and the account number which you can all get in your bank details in your bank account. Now I would recommend to make sure you're only using your name because otherwise you can get in with issues. As you can see please ensure that all account information is correct. Withdrawals made to an incorrect account will occur a $40 fee. So make sure you're only withdrawing to an account that's under your name and that's it. The account that's under this name on SwiftX that's the only account they should be withdrawing to. So so once you're putting the account details here, you can click on the little drop down tab and your bank should be here. So I just named mine bank, but that should be what where it should appear once you've done. Now make sure you refresh this. You might have to come back to this window again. And then once you've done that, you can go on the account that you want to withdraw to and then the amount. So how much you want to withdraw. So let's say you want to withdraw $30. You can also just use this if you want, but I'm just going to type it in here. So I'm going to type in $30 and you can say, what's the reason for withdrawing? I'm transferring it to my bank account and then what you do is click continue and as you can see at the bottom the withdrawal to bank account has been successful now this withdrawal has normally been a minimum of like 20 seconds it can take a few more minutes and it'll let you know when it's gone because the deposit will the bank 
the balance on your account will drop. Now you can refresh as well. So I'm just gonna refresh the page and there you go, my balance has changed now. So now it's $29.07 Australian left. Now you can see all the transactions here, the withdrawal has been complete and you can see the AUD withdrawal at the bottom right here. So there you go, that's how you withdraw to your bank account. Thanks for watching. If you do have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you do wanna sign up to SwiftX, I will leave a link. If you do sign up using my link, just be aware that it does benefit me in a small percentage way. It is an affiliate link, but it does not cost you any extra. There is nothing that costs you more. If you do sign up using my link, please let me know in the comments below. Answer any questions or even directly message me. I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching. And